Hey there, this is Darren. Day 90. Can you believe it? Day 90. Nine zero. Now, I've already got a text from my friend Lourdes saying I'm expecting big things. Hey, Lourdes. Uh, no, not big things. I'm actually going to do one tomorrow that's going to kind of be the culmination of everything. And tomorrow, you're going to hear a story that is pretty remarkable. Not even pretty remarkable. It's absolutely remarkable. I probably wouldn't believe it if I didn't know it was true. But I'm holding that off for tomorrow. Technically, day 91. But it's also related to exactly why I started it. So I've been holding this story back. It's good. Stay tuned. But for today, day 90, uh, day 90, we just did a two-day event called Write the Right Book with Henry DeVries. Henry's awesome. He's an indie publisher uh, for Indie International Books. But one of the things that we hear a lot is people saying, well, but how do I make my book different? Is my book worth writing? And sometimes I hear this in speaking, but it's been said before. Yep, guess what? It's all been said before. So why should you put the time and energy and effort into your message or your book? Because if you're even thinking about it, it means it's on your heart and you care. And the world needs your enthusiastic version of your story, of your take on that same universal subject. So it's the universal problem that a lot of people have. If you think about my speech, if you've seen it before, ouch. Falling forward, I didn't, even, I didn't even realize that was a thing before, falling forward or failing forward. There was a book out, but I didn't know that when I wrote it. But it went back to Mark Brown, my coach, who said, choose a child in your life. And if you were going to die tomorrow, what one lesson that you learned from your life would you pass on to that child? Now, chances are the lessons that I wrote out took three pages and I had all the ideas and I narrowed it down to one. Exactly, Rich Hopkins. Thank you. Hey, Dwayne. Uh, write it anyway. If it's on your heart, like it's got to come out. But what's really cool is the world needs your version. It's a universal issue. But the people that you're in front of, if they like you, chances are they'll like your voice. Chances are they'll like your take on it. Ouch or falling forward wasn't really anything new, but it was my personal story and how I looked at that subject. Thank goodness I had my coach, Mark Brown, who helped me with it. So the world needs your version. Even if it's a tried and true uh, universal theme, it, they all are, if you think about it. Good to great, like great title, great book. But that's not really a new concept. But it's a new take on it from a new author or from an author with a new perspective, his perspective, his research, your research, your story, your passion and enthusiasm. The world needs that. The world does not need another book. The world needs another enthusiastic author, enthusiastic presenter that really cares, that has the intent. And as Mark Brown told me, you have the privilege of 2,000 lives for seven minutes. Even though I took eight minutes, <laughs> I still came through. And I don't take that lightly and I don't say that bragging. It's because I had a great coach who got me to focus, who pulled the stories out of me that I didn't even know were there. Get someone, get a coach, get a teacher, find someone who can help make you even better than you are alone. Uh, I did a presentation today. By the way, I'm exhausted. Two days of training all day, and then today I was at TLI for Toastmasters here in Las Vegas, and I'm just exhausted. But I love what I get to do. And I committed to the 90 days, so here I am. Hey there, Scott Brown and Daniel Morris. And check out Scott and Daniel's posts. It's so cool that so many people have been doing this. But what's really been cool for me is finding out what Scott and Daniel and Maria, uh, hey Maria, what they have had happen as a result of them doing this. This is just the beginning. This is just that microcosm that, that 
kick in the butt to move forward, to get you going, I want you to do more. I want you to have more fun. I want you to go deeper. I want you to get more authentic and more real because the world needs your voice. I hope that you've learned. I hope that you've grown because of this experience. I know I have. And it ended up with some of the rapport that I got with people. Uh, has brought me new customers into Stage Time University. I love that. That's kind of the side effect. But the intention, even though not all of my videos have been great or perfect, it's the doing them consistently that then you'll, you'll step on that perfect stone, that, that explosive topic or the one that just hits you right or, or even more importantly, hits your audience right. The world needs you. The world needs your story. But most importantly, we need your intent for the audience and they will sense that and everyone will grow because you shared your story so tune in tomorrow for the story that's going to bring it all together and i think i think you'll be shocked because it's kind of what started all of this and i'm going to get really authentic and really deep and it's gonna be, require me to be brave to tell it all. And it's gonna require some humility. But I've kind of written out some of it and explored some of it, but. Anyway, tune in tomorrow. But tonight, next chance you can, just help someone. Help someone, please. The world needs you, your intention, and your enthusiasm. See you tomorrow.